Okay. I am actually disappointed. You have been doing very selective, uh, giving the members who went to talk. Actually, I'm really disappointed. Senator Abbas, there's a dashboard. My, my friend, it is not the first time or second time. It's actually happening in this place. Proceed, That's a very selective. To make, proceed to make your contribution. Of course, I select who speaks. We need to dialogue in this house, Arsene, before we even go to our places. <laughs> okay, um, Honorable Speaker, Senator, Chiri, uh, Senator, I, haven't said, I haven't said my issues. Senator Cherenge, have a seat, please. Senator Bass, it is the duty of the Speaker to pick who to speak. Mr. And Speaker. That cannot be questioned. Proceed. Okay, uh, Honorable Speaker. Uh, speaker. Uh, I support uh, the motion on the formation of the dialogue committee, committee. I think this is the most appropriate time. This country has actually had a lot of problems in the past and even today. As we proceed with the dialogue, I want to ask the, the committee members to be very focused and they shall not be listening to other people outside the, the, the committee. And the committee must take the interest of Kenyans first. And one thing I want to, I mean, to tell the country is that uh, actually leaders should allow the dialogue to continue without any interruption. Because you hear always a story that uh, the dialogue uh, meeting, in the, 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 this bipartisan meeting is an uh, uh, exercise in uh, futility from you know, top leaders, which is a very unfortunate situation. It should not happen. You hear that if it does not uh, succeed, uh, that we are going back to the street, that should not happen. Therefore, I think this country needs to heal. This country needs to come together. This country needs to move forward. We have had enough. Many kings have died. Many kings have lost their properties. And therefore, it is a time that we come back together and we focus together. And we don't want to any time, because this country, as a rule of law, the, the Constitution has allowed elections to take place. And then every cycle of, uh, every year of the cycle of elections, we have problems. This should not happen. The winner must also accumulate. The loser must accept to have lost. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Senator Sige Wakili.